Hey guys, it's April at Georgia Girl Plans. I have a memory plan with me today for you. This is going to be the week of October 1st through October 7th. And I'm going to be using this mini kit from Nightingale Paper Co. And this is an older format kit. I got it um, in her last chance section. I think it was just so pretty. These fall florals. So these are four of the full boxes and then four others. And you've got checklists, icons, weekend banner, and then squared off half boxes, rounded half boxes, some quarter boxes, labels, and some scripts. And then I pulled some washi to go with this. And since this doesn't come with bottom washi, I'm going to use these as the bottom washi. This wood washi is from Target. And then this uh, purple vine washi is from Simply Guild, and it's got rose gold. I'm going to be pulling in mostly gold foil, but this uh, rose gold. And then I thought this color matched um, really well. And I think I'm going to use it at the top um, with my weekend banner. And then I'm also going to pull in, like I said, quite a bit of gold foil. Since this is a mini kit, I pulled out some more functional stuff. I'm going to use these gold foiled headers. These are from Bodacious Prints. And then some deco and scripts from Piper Paper Company. And then some gold foiled uh, date covers. I'm going to use this color right here from Bodacious Prints. I am on the PR team from Nightingale Paper Co., Bodacious Prints, and Piper Paper Company. So you can check the description to get my coupon codes. I do not believe this kit is um, available any longer, but she does have some really pretty kits out right now. So definitely check her out. So I went ahead and laid out. I printed out some pictures to use. And I went ahead and laid out where I thought I would use them um, just to make sure they fit. So I'm going to move them out of the way. I will glue those down in a little bit. All right, so I think I'm going to put this wood washi down here at the bottom. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So let's see. It's a little transparent, but I don't think it's going to bother me. Those lines aren't very aren't very thick. So I'm going to put that right here at the bottom. Not that will bother me. Let me get my slice tool. So this is just my slice tool from Amazon. So now I'm going to put the skinny washi on top. And I have to decide if I want to use a little white space, leave a little white space, or put it right on top. How I want to stack it. Yeah, I think I want to leave a little white space. I think I like that. I should have quite a few simply gilded orders coming in the next week i'm really excited i got the pre-order from i think it's back in august or beginning of september it must have been beginning of september and then an order i placed uh, a few weeks ago during her restock so really excited to get more washi all right perfect i really like how that looks so I'm going to do the same thing over here. My wood washi. Alrighty. This was not a super busy week. So I'm going to try and just fill it in with pretty stuff. And I have been printing out like two pictures, but I printed out a few this time to help fill it in as well. And then let's do Simply Gilded. That's too big. I never understood why people wasted the ends, but it's so hard to lay the end of the washi down right where you want it. It's much easier just to trim it. So, just end up wasting just a tad. Alrighty, perfect. 
All right, I really like how that looks. Let's think about the weekend banner. I thought since the weekend banner was so neutral that I might be able to put this behind it. Let's see. Not make a like full weekend washi, just kind of have it as a, oh goodness. This isn't starting out great. There we go. And this is just some washi I got on Amazon. This is actually, I started my washi collection by buying a pack on Amazon, and this is one of them that was in it. I want to say it was like 20 rolls or something. And I definitely don't have a giant washi collection by, um, in comparison to other people in the planner community, but I'm a fan. And I am definitely building it. I try and buy ones that I think I'll use. Because I am definitely not a hoarder, I'm a user. I know there's both types of washi collectors in the planning community. All right. I like that. Okay, and now I'm gonna grab the date covers I pulled. And these are from Bodacious Prints. And I'm gonna use this uh, purple color. Let's see if I need to white anything out. No. She uses really nice uh, premium matte paper. And it's pretty thick. And she has quite a few different um, styles of date covers. This is her um, you know, double date cover, which is her version 3. She's got, I think, four different foil colors now. A ton of different date color covers. And three different styles. So if you haven't, I would definitely go check out her shop. And this is going to be posted before Black Friday. On Black Friday, or the whole weekend, she's going to be 50% off. So it be a perfect time to go try her shop out. And then you can mention April. I do have a really cute freebie that you can get. Okay, let me... I'm, Hold something for the flags, yes. So these are from The Giving Girl, and they actually have rose gold foil on them too. So I'm gonna have some rose gold and some gold, which does not bother me, but I pulled these to cover the flags. And they're just like fall pumpkins. Okay. Cut down my other one. Over here. Goodness. There we go. All righty. Now, I want to put down my headers first. Let me see. How did I do it? This is my first week of fall planning. I used foil headers, put them on every single one. Do I want to use, I think these three colors would go. Let's use them. All right, so I'm just gonna probably speed you through this. I'm gonna go through and do alternating headers everywhere. And I will be right back. All right, so I've got all my date covers down. Got some sparkle happening. I don't know if I mentioned these date or these uh, headers are also from Bodacious Prints in gold foil. So I think I'm gonna get some of my full boxes laid down. I'm gonna put this fall as here as the quote box, and then I'm gonna start laying down. The other full boxes in no particular rhyme or reason. I think I'm gonna do the fox and the bike on one side and the rest just fill in the florals. 
There's nothing particular going on this week, so I don't have to pick boxes for particular days, which is how I do it sometimes. Let's do the box on this side. don't ever, or I don't want to say ever, but I have not yet figured out how to make full boxes fit. So I'm probably going to go have to undo a lot and I'll be back. So I got all of my full boxes down. So I used up that whole sheet and used up all of those. So I like how that's looking. Some of my headers are a little bit off but one day I'll master it maybe kind of thinking that this washi may be too bright now I might just move that down here I think I'm gonna do that I think this washi in my head it went but now like seeing all the boxes down I'm not liking how it looks let's see if I can get it up There we go, okay. So let's see, the sticker should, there we go. And I think I'm gonna just put this down here at the bottom. And I could put glitter headers and put this over the glitter headers. Let's see, did I have a lot going on this weekend? I actually did on, so I think I'm going to put this down at the bottom. I actually, we actually did have a lot going on on this Saturday. There we go. Okay. So let's move to the day today. So the first thing I want to do on Monday, this was the first day starting um, on the Nightingale Paper Co., PR team. So I printed out um, the announcement and my freebie. So I want to put that down as the first thing on Monday. And I'll just put a little note by it. I thought it was appropriate to use an MPC kit for the week that I started on PR team. Perfect. And I'm just going to put a little note there. And actually, I think I'm going to cut off this top part of this picture. I don't really need it, and that will give me more room to write. Yeah, okay, perfect. And I'll write that right there. Let's see what else on Monday. Had a customer meeting and when I got home, I edited and went to bed early. So, not a lot, but let's see what we can use. I also pulled these bows. These are from The Giving Girl and they are gold foiled and I think they match really well. So, I'm going to use those. So I'm going to use this little camera to mark that I edited, and let's see, I wrote that I needed a drink and I enjoyed one, so what can we use for that? And I also pulled these bows, they are also from The Giving Girl, she has such pretty foiled stuff, so I'm going to put a box down here. And I'm just going to write in it, drink an early bedtime. So, let's see. I might 
wrote, oh yeah, I wrote, I had a YouTube bench, so we'll put that one right there for those two things. All right, and then Tuesday is one of my best friend's birthdays, so I'm going to put that on one of these little boxes here. Okay, and then, ooh, this was a fun day. I went to Target and got lots of fall decor. So I pulled these from Piper Paper Company. And I'm gonna use one of these pink candles and put it on these little flags here. Cause I lit my first fall candle of the season, which is my favorite. October to me really is fall. I'm also going to pull some fall deco I have. This is just my little uh, sampler and freebie notebook here. I can use these. I think I have one other. Yeah, okay. It wasn't cold yet. I'm not going to use that Winston, but I want to use this leaf. And maybe... Maybe just both these leaves. Just write that I picked up fall deco, fall candle, and then I uploaded this day. So let's see. Maybe I'll use one of these bows. Yeah. Or I could use, yeah, let's do that. So I want to pull in some of this color. Put it on a box. Not that box. How about on, I did pull these scallop labels. Maybe I'll pull in this light gray one. Put that there. Mark that I uploaded my video. And then that night, my husband and I had a pizza night, which is my favorite kind of night. Pizza is my favorite food. I'll put that there. Perfect. Wednesday. Let's see. I filmed Wednesday morning. So I think I'm going to swap these two icons. And use this one for film. And use this little phone. Oh, but then they're the same color. Hmm. This was going to be for edit. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pull, I've got um, YouTube binge stickers, and I'm just going to use those instead of using that computer. And then I can use that computer for uh, filming. Even though I use my phone for filming, but I'll use something. Okay. So I have these YouTube binge stickers, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this up and move everything around. I'm going to use one of these pink YouTube binge stickers here in the middle. And then this was for editing, so I'll use the computer for that. And then this was for filming, so I'm going to use my phone for that. Perfect. And then I also got some Happy Mail this day. Got my first Foxy Fix. It's an A6, and I've been using it as my um, like daily carry type. All right, and then we had a game night. So let's see, use this little heart. Put this here on my game night. I also marked that I had to do some work before bed, which is never fun. Let me use Goodness, I could not get that down straight. One of these little teardrops to mark that. 
Now here, we took our pups on a walk, so what can I use for that? I'm going to use one of these. Oh, I can use one of these clips. Right there, just right walk the pups, perfect, alrighty. And then... Thursday at her early morning appointment, we use the scallop label. And then we took my customer to lunch that I had my meeting with. So let me use the fork and spoon icon for that. Perfect. Alrighty. And then we got home. Oh, we had a movie night. So I pulled these movie night scripts. And I'm going to put it over the squared off box here at the bottom. And almost all my scripts are from Piper Paper Company. I love her scripts. Perfect. And before that, we took our pups on a walk. Use one of these purple those pretty all right Friday was payday she does have this payday script here which I think I'm gonna use this and I pulled these foiled bows from bodacious prints I think I might yeah use them and they are just on it's kind of like off-white paper so, put that right there for payday. Perfect, okay. And then I had an intense work day. I put a angry girl by it, but I think I'm gonna use another one of these bow clips for that. And just write all the to-dos. There we go. Perfect. And let's see. Put this little box right here. I edited my video. Use another one of these bows. That. Perfect. And I did some laundry. She doesn't have a laundry. But I'm just going to use this. Hmm. I'm going to use this teardrop. It's a different color. Mark laundry day. And then I worked. So I'm going to put this box right down here. Perfect. Alrighty. And then, Saturday morning, I planned and filmed. So I'm going to put that right up there. And it was one... Another one of our really good friend's birthdays. So I'm going to use this box here to mark that. Mm. Maybe I'm going to use, use one of these gray scallops to mark it. It was also a football game. So we went and watched it at a brewery. And let's see. I'm gonna put that there. So that was for watching the football game. This is gonna be for uh, ordering pizza to the brewery, which was delicious. I'll put that there for ordering pizza and then we put a box down we went over to my friend's house whose birthday it was and watched a UFC fight with him for his birthday which was fun oops so I f forgot all about my pictures 
So I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah, let's pull this up. And I made a little outro for my video. So I was gonna put that right there. But maybe I'll, instead of pulling up all of this on Tuesday, I think I'm gonna put that there. This is the plan with me I filmed that week. Put that there and put that there. I think that'll be perfect. All right, so this is for working Sunday morning. And then it was my cousin's birthday. So I'm gonna put this here. She had a ton of birthdays. I think I'm gonna put it here. Then let's see. That's gonna go there. I'm gonna put that there for our lunch. And I'm gonna put this here for Walking Dead. Because that's what we did that night. Was watch Walking Dead. Alright, so I think that's it guys. I used almost all of this. Got two boxes left, a bill due, a habit tracker, and the scripts, and one icon, and then the check flags. So I definitely think I was good about pulling in stuff. I am over here on the side. I'm gonna pull in a This Week header, and this is from Piper Paper Company. And I think I'm gonna put it over one of these scallop boxes, maybe the pink. And then I like to do some journaling over on the side. So I'm going to put the This Week header over this box. And journal. Really should lay these scripts down with tweezers. They're very dainty, but they're so pretty. Perfect. Okay. And then one last thing. My journal here. I think I'm going to put this box at the bottom and mark what I was reading. Been really into marking what I'm reading. And I'm going to pull, I've got these foiled book stickers from Sticky Sloth Designs. And I'm going to pull gold book and put it right down here like that. Mark what I was reading and then I'll just journal right there. Perfect. I really like this. So this mini kit was really perfect for my memory spread. I need to remind myself that I don't, even though things are so pretty, I want everything, I don't always need it. Especially with these memory spreads, pulling in pictures and icons. I don't need a huge kit. And look how pretty it turned out just using the mini kit. All right that right there all right so let me give y'all a little viv wiggle so this is my memory spread lots of pretty foil I'm gonna go through and fill it all out if you'd like to see how it turned out go follow me on Instagram at Georgia girl plans I post uh, finished pictures of all of my spreads over there if you like this video please um, like and comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Bye!